Hey, what's up guys? So I didn't march my last summer of drum corps and I have my reasons why, but I'm not gonna really touch on that today. But basically it's allowed me to pursue different things that I haven't been able to in the past. And one of those things is powerlifting. So I've been in and out of the gym for about three years, I'd say. And when I started out, it was just to build muscle, uh, get bigger, that type thing. But I always gravitated towards uh, powerlifting and the certain style of training that came with it. And today I got to train at Barbell Brigade. Barbell Brigade. I've been following the owners, uh, Bart and Gio on YouTube since before they even opened this place up. So it was kind of surreal walking in there for the first time, well, second time this week. Um, it's basically a sort of haven for any type of training. So whether that's powerlifting, bodybuilding, CrossFit, weightlifting, um, you can train however you want here without being looked at weird or feeling like an outcast like you would at a commercial gym. Um, Cause there you have to contain yourself a lot. And I wish I could train here every day, but I live in Lake Elsinore, which is like an hour and a half away. Plus I just can't afford the membership here. But if you're looking for a cool spot to train and you live in LA, uh, I recommend coming here. Anyway, today's workout was heavy deadlifts. So I started out with some speed squats to warm up and to also work on my explosiveness out of the bottom of the squat itself which is a problem I run into when I go heavy. Uh, I was moving pretty fast and I was happy with that. I just hope I can transfer that over to when I do go heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, I did some high rep sets at 135 and 185 today. Then we moved on to deadlifts. My goal today was four sets of heavy doubles at 365, which is actually about double body weight for me. I warmed up with some 135 onto 225, 315 and then one more warm-up at 355 everything was moving pretty well until I got to my first working set uh, the first rep was just instantly slow getting off the floor but then the second rep moved faster and then the same thing happened on my second set even though it felt heavier and my third set I just grinded those two out um, I think the problem is I'm not as explosive in my hamstrings when I first pick it up uh, but then I find a good groove by the second rep. I just need to find that with the first rep and then do some strengthening with my hamstrings. actually only ended up doing three sets of 365 instead of four because I felt that if I did one more set I would fry my CNS so I moved on to bench I did uh, three sets of what did I do holy crap I, oh I did three sets of 185 so bench has always been my weakest lift but especially right now because I spent most of last year recovering from a rotator cuff injury so I've been trying to get a lot of strength back with my bench. And I think at this point, my body was pretty fatigued, so everything just felt heavier than usual. I also had like five hours of sleep last night. And on my last set, this guy behind me was benching like 345 or something. And the guy spotting him was hyping him up super hard. But it also sounded like he was hyping me up, even though he wasn't, because it just synced up with my set, which I thought was pretty funny. And then I finished off with three sets of wide grip lat pull downs, supersetted with some dumbbell curls. I always like to finish the workout with some bodybuilding or any accessories that apply to the main three lifts. I'm still working on putting on more mass and getting a lot of strength. For those of you that don't know, powerlifting is a sport. Uh, it's composed of three different lifts or events. So you have squat, bench, and deadlift. And the goal is to see how much weight you can lift for a single repetition on each of those and then you can choose to take that to a meet and compete against other people. But I think it's mainly yourself. 
and that's why I'm drawn towards the sport. Your biggest competition is yourself, and I feel like that's a cool thing I've transferred over from uh, drumming and music. Not only is it super primal in nature, but it's quantifiable. Like, you can literally see your progression in numbers as you get stronger, and I love how you can just know for a fact that you're bettering yourself and you're breaking your own personal records. Eventually, I want to get to a point where I feel confident enough to hopefully start competing next year. I think that's uh, going to be a next big personal goal and challenge after I age out of the marching activity. And yes, by the way, I do have one more season of winter left. Who knows, am I going to march? Uh, as I mentioned, I've been living out here in Southern California now. Uh, I've been teaching at a couple of schools down in Marietta. And I'm also giving private lessons in person around the area. So if you're interested in taking private lessons to better your rudimental drumming, and you live in the SoCal area, feel free to contact me. My email will be in the description. But other than that, shout out to all my friends and everyone out there currently marching this summer. You guys are killing it. And a big thank you to all of you that have been following me and supporting me all these years on this channel. And in general, I've come a long way since playing some Blue Coats 2012 on a pad. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. So again, a huge thank you. And thanks for checking out this video. Shout out to the talented Katie Martinez for filming this awesome footage. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Peace.